Hello, my name is Stuart Hamblin. I wanted to share with you in this video a wonderful Feldenkrais lesson that can help you to take a deeper and fuller breath. The reason I wanted to make this video is that two of my students who live in the local area have both recently, together with their families, come down with the coronavirus. And the students fortunately have come through the virus but told me that what they experienced um, was being really knocked for six by the whole experience and a sense of struggling to take a deeper and fuller breath and one of them in particular asked me if I'd put something on video to share with other people um, with the thought that it, if there's anything you can do yourself at home while we're under lockdown to improve your capacity for a deeper and fuller breath that will help you more generally but also I hope begin to give you some tools that you can rely on um, should you yourself um, have the misfortune to be hit by the virus. So um, I'm going to be doing the lesson lying down but if you're at home and you don't find it so easily easy to lie down on the floor then it's fine to do the lesson lying down on, on a bed. You can even do most of the lesson actually sort of resting back into an armchair if that's easier for you. It's very much um, um, a lesson and a very powerful lesson about how by simply using your attention you can improve the capacity of your of your lungs to take um, a deeper breath. So I'm going to start by lying down and when you're lying down if you need a um, pillow just to support the head then please take one and you've got a couple of options with the, the legs so you can either have the legs long um, if that's comfortable for you or you can have them bent or you can even rest the legs over a, over a pillow to, um, to give you more comfort and uh, if you need to change the position of the legs during the course of the lesson to relieve any discomfort in the back then please don't hesitate to, to do so but just begin however is comfortable for you I'm going to keep my legs bent initially and just take a moment to settle settle into the floor now Feldenkrais, Moshe Feldenkrais when he um, originally taught a version of this lesson he was, as I, many of you know um, uh, had training in physics and engineering amongst other things and what he pointed out to his students that the average person uh, when they breathe in and when they breathe out takes in and out about half a litre of air and as you know we take in oxygen um, as part of that air and we use that oxygen to help form carbon dioxide which we expel in the out breath so your average person just breathing normally if there is such a thing of, as an average person of course takes in about half a litre of air but in fact as he pointed out our capacity to take um, a deeper and fuller breath can be as much as about four and a half litres um, of air so you see if our average breath is about half a litre there's a big difference between half a litre and four and a half litres now I'm not suggesting that we aim for four and a half litres but even if you improve your capacity to take it in say three quarters of a litre of air you've already improved your capacity by um, 50% so um, uh, he also pointed out and again I'm, um, I'm not an expert in anatomy at all uh, and I'm sure many of you know this, that um, we have th uh, a larger lung on the right hand side compared to the left. The lung on the right hand side has three lobes to it, 
you can consider it to be an upper lobe, a middle lobe and a lower lobe, whereas the left lung um, has two lobes to it, an upper, upper and a, a lower lobe. So just begin to um, think about how you're lying and first of all resist any temptation to try and take a deeper breath. So just allow yourself your normal breaths in and your normal breaths out. So just beginning to pay attention to when it is you breathe in and when it is you breathe out. Now, I'm obviously going to be doing a lot of talking in the lesson, which um, makes doing the lesson myself slightly more, more cha challenging. Um, but uh, as you're just breathing in and breathing out, if you can, um, just breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. But if that's difficult for you, then of course open, open the mouth. The idea is that you should be just establishing to begin with your normal rhythm of breathing in and breathing out. And now as you gain, pay attention to the inhalations and exhalations, bring your attention in particular to the inhalation, the sense of the air coming into you, and bring your attention to the upper right hand corner of your chest. So as you're taking air in, can you think of the air coming into the space from the breastbone or the sternum at the front of the body all the way to the corner of the of the right shoulder? And as you're breathing in, thinking of it also coming into the area of the armpit in the area of the of the right shoulder so that as you as you breathe in you get a sense of the breath or the air reaching into that upper upper right corner and as you're breathing into that area you want to think of the breath helping to create um, width in the chest. So I think of lengthening from the breastbone all along the collarbone towards the, the armpit area. And also, if you can, as you're just paying attention to your in-breath, think of the breath creating depth. Depth in the sense that my chest expands forward in that upper right corner towards the ceiling. But also, you may also feel how, if you're thinking of depth, the shoulder blade on the right hand side expands or presses down into the, into the floor. So you're thinking on the inhalation into the right hand corner or the upper lobe of the lung on the right hand side of creating length in the chest and a, a sense of depth in that upper right corner uh, and also if you can think of length think of uh, it creating length all the way up towards the the right ear so what i what i sense is a feeling of filling filling that area and that sense of filling really comes from the movement of your muscles, your bones, for example, the movement of the collarbone or the clavicle, the shoulder blade pressing down in, into the floor, and also the sense of the, the skin, skin being lengthened. Uh, I don't really want to use the word stretch, but a sense of it opening out towards the space around me. So you're really doing nothing more important as you're doing the lesson and taking a breath in, but just allowing the breath to reach into that upper right hand corner of the, of the chest. And once you've done that a few times, then think about how the air comes into that area. So 
if you're breathing in and out through the nose, you can probably feel the passage of air over the, into the nostrils. You may also feel it passing over the upper, upper palate. For me, that's very clear. You may also feel it passing down the trachea. And again, you'll know from your anatomy that the trachea moves down into the bronchioles. So they, this kind of tree-shaped formation, the bronchial tubes, and that space between the breastbone and the spine, sort of in the middle of the body, in the middle of the chest. And then, of course, the bronchioles reach out in branches um, into, the, into the lungs. So see as you're, again, just noticing your inhalations and your exhalations, you can follow that passage of air into the nostrils, over the upper palate, down the trachea, and visualise or sense or feel the movement of the air as it begins to expand the lung, the upper lobe on the right hand side into that upper right hand corner of the, of the chest. Now some of these points may be very clear to you and others less clear, so again don't try to correct anything or change it that's it. It might be very clear the movement of the air into the nostrils and over the palate, and you may get a clear sense of the movement of the air into the upper right corner. But maybe the trachea is less less clear for you. So just to give yourself the time and the space to really think of how that movement of the air can bring space and depth and length into that upper right hand corner of the of the chest. Now once you've considered that upper right hand corner of the chest for a few breaths, then bring your attention or visualize the lower lobe of the lung on the on the right hand side and see if you can observe or note the movement of the breath as it reaches into that area. We know that the lobe of that, of the lower lobe wraps around the, the liver, um, and, but you can perhaps feel as the breath moves into that area. I've got my hand there just to show you. Again, can you think of the breath as it comes into that area? of creating length, so I think of the breath reaching down towards the pelvis or the hip on the right hand side, and also a sense of it reaching in the direction of the armpit, so I'm thinking of the breath creating space and length and depth into that lower lobe on the right hand side and also width. It's as if the breath is reaching out into the space around that area, not just towards the ceiling but out to the side and down to the floor um, behind me. And you can perhaps feel that sensation of length comes of course because the diaphragm, the diaphragm contracts and pulls down to help create that vacuum to bring the air in. And as you're just noticing the breath into that area, some of you may even feel a slight pull into the, some of the vertebrae of the, of the lower back. So again, you're, you're really doing nothing import, more important than just paying attention, allowing this sense of space to reach into the lower lobe on the right hand side of the chest. It's a very nice feeling to give permission to that area to expand and move um, with the breath. 
And again, for a few breaths, see if you can also pay attention to the movement of the air into the nostrils, over the upper palate, down the trachea, into the bronchioles, and let that sense of filling or expansion into that lower lobe on the right hand side. As you're doing this, just see if you can keep the jaw nice and relaxed and the eyes nice and soft. So there's nothing interfering with this observance of the, of the breath. And now once you've considered that lower lobe on the right hand side, bring your attention or visualise, imagine the middle lobe on the, on the right hand side. And again, as you bring your attention into that area, see if you can get a sense of each in-breath filling, expanding, lengthening that area. So it's almost as if I had my hand here, the on the ribs on the right hand side, the breath is reaching in towards my the palm of my hand to move, to move the hand just keeping the trunk nice and quiet, the legs nice and quiet, the jaw nice and quiet. So again, you're thinking of creating length in that middle lobe on the right hand side, a sense of lengthening down to the hip, to the feet and towards the head. And a sense of width from the breastbone to the ribs as they protrude out to the side. But also, and importantly, a sense of depth down into the floor and towards the ceiling. And then as you pay attention to that middle lobe on the right hand side, um, again just see if you can follow the movement of the air over the nostrils, over the upper palate, down to the trachea and into the bronchioles as it branches off um, into that area. And once you've then spent just a few breaths considering and noticing that uh, middle area on the right hand side of the chest, see if you can just rotate your awareness so that as you breathe in, you think of the breath going to the upper right hand corner, that upper lobe on the right hand side of the chest, creating length and depth and width. And then the next few breaths, you rotate the awareness to the lower lobe on the right hand side, creating length and depth and width. And then also then bring your attention to the middle lobe on the right hand side of the chest, just allowing the breath to reach into that space and this, as if it reaches into the space beyond. So you're just alternating between those three places, your attention on the in-breath, allowing the breath to create space. Still, if you can, keeping the passage of air into the nostrils and over the palate, down the trachea and into the bronchioles. So you're just expanding your attention to include that, that movement. And then see if you can begin to include all three areas in your attention so that you're noticing the movement of the breath in as it reaches all, as if it reaches all the way down to the pelvis, to the sides of the body and into the, towards the shoulder or the armpit area. Again, just feeling how the breath can create length and space and um, uh, depth. It's a lovely feeling, very soothing feeling when you allow yourself this sort of more expansive breath without 
trying to deliberately take it, take a deeper breath. And what some of you may feel is that one part of the chest is a bit clearer. You may feel the movement into the middle part of the chest on the right hand side rather than the upper part. And again, don't try to correct anything, but if that is the case, then see if you can bring just a bit more attention, more permission, as it were, for the breath to move into those areas where the um, sensation is left less clear. So I like to sort of visualize a balloon, a balloon inside my chest really, reaching, reaching into all those areas. Um, so again, my breath, breath has length and depth down into the floor. I can feel my ribs sort of reaching into the floor on the right hand side and my shoulder, my shoulder reaching back into the into the floor with the breath. It's like a wave sort of reaching those areas out out into into space. Now please um, leave it alone for a moment and just take a rest. And however you're resting, whether in sitting or lying down, and just notice how the right side feels compared to the left hand side. So I, I feel almost as I'm two centimetres more spacious on my right hand side. I feel longer on the right hand side. I can feel my neck muscles softer on my right hand side so that when I roll the head from side to side feels a lot easier to that that right right hand side Good. now pause and please just bend the knees and if you can roll to the side and come up to stand for a moment so, so just stand for a moment. So after we've been practicing the breath on the right hand side, and just take a moment to notice how the two sides feel. And in standing, just take a moment to practice or to think of that breath again, filling the chest on the on the right right hand side. You know, so that I can uh, uh, visualise this as if I've got a, a there's a balloon here, and it's as if I'm the the my, the breath is just supporting me, supporting me on that that right hand side. And then just try to do a few movements of sort of moving the right arm compared to the left. And as I as I move the right arm up, right arm, it's a lovely feeling if I allow the breath to occur, as if the arm is just being sort of floated, moved with the, the breath, as if again I sort of think of that that balloon just supporting the the movement of the arm. So I, the movement of the arm is connected with the breath. And then just compare that to how the other side so again, I feel it's a bizarre but very interesting feeling when my whole right side is longer, longer than the, the left hand, hand side. Good. So once you've just considered that, sorry to have brought you up to standing, but it's a very nice thing to feel, then um, please come and lie down on your back again. Once you've just explored the that movement in standing, then please come down onto your mat again and if possible just sit comfortably cross, cross leg. Now to sit comfortably cross leg um, many people um, need just a bit of support underneath the sit bones just to give a bit of extra lift, lift in, in sitting. Um, and if, but if you're sitting and you find that your knees are still very, very high, which means it's tipping your back, then it's also possible to do this um, sitting on a chair or a, a stool. So um, just find a way that is comfortable for yourself. The idea is not to, to strain. 
and then please interlace your hands um, together and then bring the hands behind the back of the head. So the um, definitely on the back of the head, the, the skull at the back of the head, don't have the hands hanging on the on the neck. So you want the hands just to be um, softly on the back of the head and then just lower the head and let the elbows just release down towards the floor. Now, um, this isn't a yoga position, so please don't think it's about getting your head down. I'm still, I'm still sitting up and I'm just allowing the head to release a little bit to look down towards the floor. And then once you're in, in this position, again, trying not to let the arms be too heavy, just bring your attention again to your inhalations and your exhalations. And see again if you can pay attention to the movement of the breath into the right hand side of the, of the chest. See if you can get a sense again of the breath creating length and width and depth. And um, what you may feel, just as you're continuing with the, that pe paying attention to the breath, that you may feel that, again, once again, that sense of expansion or lengthening or depth, you can observe it more clearly, say, in the middle part of the, the back and the front, but not so much in the lower part or in the upper part. So pay attention to the parts that you do feel e easy and then see if you can get a sense or allow that sense of expansion into the upper, the middle and to the lower part of the, of the chest. And just give yourself time to do this. And what will begin to happen if you get this sense of lengthening and widening and deepening is what will happen is your and the, the chest is light is the elbows because of the position, as you experience that sense of lengthening into the back, my elbows, I don't know whether you can see, as I breathe in, they're just lifting up a little bit, and then with the out breath, releasing. So as the breath travels all the way up my back, as if it travels all the way up into my back, creating that sense of space. My elbows just hover, float up a, a millimetre or two and then release. Now, usually what happens when I say that in class, um, I've been doing my lessons online this week through Zoom, what happens is people begin to lift the elbows as if that's the idea. In other words, they engage the back because they want to show that the elbows are lifting. So please resist the temptation to make that happen. I'll just show you perhaps without talking for a moment. So can you see it's a very small movement of the elbows just responding to the movement of the breath as the breath creates length and space and depth in, in the back. Now once you've considered the right hand side, see if you can bring attention to the left hand side too. So the first time we've really considered it. 
And see as you're um, paying attention to your inhalations and exhalations, as you're paying attention to the breath in, you're allowing that sense of length and depth and width in the left hand side too. Now, leave it alone and come and um, rest for a, for a moment. So that position is not comfortable for many, so I don't need to keep you in it for too long. Uh, and then please come down and, and lie down on your on your mat. Now I've got a couple of um, pads here, and they're just sort of soft pads, a bit of foam pads. Um, if you've got a cushion at home, then take a small cushion or a pillow, even a, a thin pillow, or even maybe just have a rolled up towel. And then please come and lie down on your right hand, hand side. So I've just got the pillow and the pads underneath my ribs um, on the right hand side. And I'm supporting my, my head with my underneath arm. And my legs are just bent comfortably. You don't necessarily have to have them stacked on top of each other, but just so, somewhere comfortably um, bent up. And this top arm can just be out of the way, really. It can be a little bit higher, lower, whatever's comfortable for you. It can be on the side, um, along on the, on the side. So I'm just lying on my right hand side. And then as you're lying on the right hand side, see if you can bring your attention to the left hand side of the, of the chest. So that each time you breathe in, you're thinking of creating length in the left hand side of the body. And the support underneath you will help that. As I'm breathing in, I'm thinking of length from my hip bone all the way up towards my shoulder and then release. I think of the lower and upper lobe on the left hand side of the lungs, okay, just sensing the reach of air. And, and it's a sense for me, maybe you can even see it on the on the camera, of that that space between the armpit, the right, the left shoulder and the left hip getting longer with each in-breath and then slightly shorter on the out-breath. It's a really lovely feeling of these ribs, these lower ribs in particular, opening, opening out towards the ceiling. And then on, uh, if you can, think also, not just of length, but creating de um, width. So width now in the sense of filling my t-shirt in front of me and also the breath reaching to fill my t-shirt behind me. So I think of uh, creating length or allowing the breath to fill those areas, to create length and depth and also width in the sense of the breastbone towards the, the ceiling. Now once you've just spent a few breaths just allowing yourself this wonderful feeling of the breath creating that space bring your attention to your underneath side the right hand side that we've been considering and see if you can include the right hand side in the, in the breath so i'm thinking of not just creating length in the left hand side but in the right hand side too creating length and depth down towards the floor and width from front to back. 
and as you're thinking of the right hand side you're thinking of the left hand side too so the breath is reaching in every part of the trunk as if it's reaching in every part of the of the trunk again I'm, I'm not trying to deepen my breath you know by taking a bigger breath or anything I'm just allowing that sense of the breath moving into all parts and what I love about this position is I, I really get a feeling when I allow that the right hand side, the underneath side to be included too. I can I can feel my spine, the buoyancy of the spine. It's, it's just though the vertebrae are just floating up towards the ceiling and then releasing down. Thinking of the breath from reaching down into the into the pelvis and up towards the ears. Now um, pause for a moment and then just bring the left arm onto the side a little bit and just allow the left shoulder to go back slightly and the head to turn a little bit to look towards the ceiling. So just created um, just the suggestion of a twist, twist in the spine. And then see again if you can really think of creating length in both sides of the body, both sides of the spine with the breath. And in particular, think of really allowing the breath. So it's a sense, for me anyway, it may be very different for you. The breath is rolling over and around the spine towards the floor behind me. As the breath sort of reaches into those, the area of the ribs on the left hand side of the, of the chest as they wrap around towards the spine. And then also reaching down towards the pelvis. So nice, I could do this all day actually if I, <laughs> if I didn't have to do some work. Um, please leave it alone and come and rest on your, on your back. Take a moment when you come to rest on the back on how that all feels. And then again, begin to just draw your attention back to the breath again. So noticing in particular the inhalations. Now for a few breaths, so you're feeling the expansion to the left and to the right um, in all directions, so reaching into the space in front of you, up and down, uh, to the sides and down towards the floor. And just allow your attention to be on the exhalation, so the sense of the air leaving you. You allow the breath to fill you in all directions. And then you just notice the breath leaving you. It's like a wave coming in to fill the, the space, to reach out into the space. And as you exhale, the breath as the wave recedes. And then just very lazily roll the head and eyes a little bit from one side to the other.
and then um, pause, bend the knees. Now, you could, if you've had enough, just um, end the lesson there, just noticing this sense of a deeper, fuller breath. But um, I'm going to ask you to please come to standing again. Now, before you move, I just want to ask you to consider, as you're moving, um, to come to standing, can you take your time and do it in such a way that you don't interrupt or interfere with this deeper, fuller breath that, that you've got? So it's very easy to forget about the breath, to hold the breath, but see if you can slowly begin to transition to the side, going um, carefully enough and slowly enough that you don't interfere um, with the breath. So once you've come to standing again, just notice now that we've worked on both sides, how that feels. See, it's very common to find, so uh, I like to, I have this idea of the two balloons here, my left, right lung and my left, left lung really. And when you allow the breath for example, in standing, to be that same fuller breath, so the sense of lengthening down towards the, all the way down towards the heels, creating length um, towards the crown of the head or towards the ceiling. I immediately get a sense of my weight coming, being more grounded into the, into the heels. It's almost as if I'm, I am two balloons and I'm just sort of draped, draped over those balls. So, um, but, sorry, draped over those balloons. It's an amazing feeling of lightness, a sense of the, the, the balloon supporting me to the back, to the sides and to the front. And what, again, is often common if you if you're, tend to be a little bit hunched over, you can see then how the breath would be only really coming into one part of the back. So into this part of the back, for example, if you're like this. So you just work with that to see again, can you allow the breath as it to be in all parts of the chest to help lengthen through the, the spine. And then once you've got the idea that you're supported by the breath and your balloons, it can create an amazing sense of freedom, of freedom in the, in the back, just by again allowing or thinking of these and how you're supported by, by the lungs or your, your visual, visualised balloons. If I show you, show you the movement so again, with the, the breath, can you see if I can think of the breath, my two balloons creating all this, this movement, this movement in the, the spine. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I find it an amazingly powerful lesson to help find a, a fuller, deeper breath and a lesson that you can take with you from the mat into your day-to-day um, -day, uh, activities. If you're lucky enough to be healthy and virus-free at the moment, I think it's a great lesson to practice um, a couple, at least a couple of times to give you this sense of how you can create a, a fuller, deeper breath, so that if there does come a moment when you need help, um, that uh, knowledge is there. Please stay safe everybody and see you soon.